you. You know, I asked you if you had watched it, and you said, well, of course not, because well, it was we cloudy weather, here. <laughs> we were weathered out. We were weathered out here in New York. So why does this happen only once every 105 years? Ah, so uh, we live on the Earth. So the Earth goes around the sun, and we imagine us living on a tabletop. Well, Venus is not quite on the same tabletop. It's inclined about 3.4 degrees. So in order for Venus to be between the sun and us, everything has to, if I may, line up. And so in astronomical terms, 105 years is nothing. <laughs> but in human lifetime terms, it's, it's hit or it's, you either make it or you don't. Yeah, and so what is it that scientists can call from this experience? Oh, so back in the day, mm -hmm. When we were trying, we humans were trying to figure out how big the solar system is and further understand our place in space. You time the planet crossing in front of the disk of the sun, then you employ Kepler's laws, and you can infer the size of the Venusian orbit and our orbit and everybody's orbit. You can figure the whole thing out by bootstrap, if I may. All right. So but, the time was the key idea. But only once every 105 years. Well, so. well twice every 105 ah. years. So it, it, there's a dance, how to say, a cosmic dance. And so it happens twice within a decade. So we met, the other one was in 2008. And uh, were you watching the show this morning while we were on? Well, what else would I be doing? <laughs> All right. What, I mean, I'm a civilized person. Are, what, are, I, what could I possibly be doing are, except watching your show? So you watched the the shuttle Enterprise, right? Yeah. Well, As it's yeah. on the Hudson and yes. headed to its final resting place. Um, what do you make of that? And we were talking about the fact that it had um, a little bit of a, a, wing a, 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 yeah, a little bit of a wing damage. Yeah. There it is, right yeah, there. Yeah. So um, how serious is that? Is it a problem? I know that this is. Uh, hey, it's you're not a geek fly about this. Again, I know. I know. No, uh, by the way, I am so old. How old are you? As a very, very young engineer, I worked on the 747. There was a little vibration problem in the horizontal stabilizer. No kidding. Squared it away. So uh, uh, this is, uh, you know, it's an old spaceship. It's fine. It, this one never made it to space, but right. it's, uh, it's, it flew around. We learned so many things about its aerodynamics. How, how big of a deal is this to have it here and to have everybody? Well, there's have only three of them, so it's cool. It's a, it's a big part of the history of space. We are living in a transition. You know, this is to say, uh, we had a Cold War. Somebody said, well, "I'll beat you to the moon," and uh, we did. Humans got to the moon first, even all the robots got there. Russian robots got there long before, or significantly before uh, US humans. Then there's been this thing, let's go back into low Earth orbit for 30 years, but now we're gonna try to go out and up to someplace cool. You know, Planet Fest, August 5th, August 4th and 5th, and the morning of the 6th, we land on Mars with the Curiosity rover on oh. Mars. It's got a laser but so it, powerful. It, it, how powerful is it? How powerful? Vaporizes Martian rocks. We assay the chemicals in that gas. We are, humans are sending a ray gun to Mars. How cool is that? Come very on, cool. Very but cool. Part of if the you're history not geeked space, and psyched. Part of the history it, of space is the Enterprise. But check out Planet Fest. Okay. And of course... Uh, Sophia. Yes. I want to talk about Sophia, not my daughter. But something that you're involved with. I have so, a daughter named Sophia. And what does Sophia mean in Greek? Uh, wisdom. Yes, yes. Wisdom. Yes. Yes. So Sophia.org. You are a student. You've got summer vacation. You kind of maybe don't do all. You kind of check out. People lose up to 40 percent of what they learned in the last school year over the summer. We don't have a lot of time, but I want to so, know who are you targeting this toward? Is uh, it all kids or yeah, is it a certain all, age range? All kids, all kids. It started out sixth grade through the second year of college, but it's expanded down and up. Ah. So uh, there's no commercials. You can take 25,000 different tutorials. You don't like the way this online teacher teaches? Try this online teacher. Over 100 teachers, maybe some stuff from me. <laughs> and it's Sophia.org, right? Sophia.org. Right. It's free, no commercials. I only care about you. Thank you. You, 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 and your academic success. Let's change the world. Oh, I love that. Bill Nye, the science guy. Thank you for that. Check out Sophia.org. We'll be right back.